Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, so this video is going to be, and just get back. This video is going to be weeks. Hold up. <laughs> Hang on here. So I just completed as of today my last month, or my eight month of pregnancy. Yeah, so this video will be weeks 31 through 35. And, um, so a lot's kind of changed, really. Like, y'all, things are changing. Like, they really are. So, I've had an easy pregnancy so far. I know I've said it in, like, all my videos. I'm not anemic. I don't have gestational diabetes. Um, just, it's been easy so far. My goal is a drug-free birth. Um, so if it's in God's plan, we will do that. And so, yeah, I mean, tomorrow I'll start my ninth month of pregnancy, which bring it on. So, but like I said, a lot's changed this month. So, I literally, I kid y'all not, I have almost gotten a trolley horse every day. I would say out of seven nights out of the week, I get like five trolley horses, like five days. And some nights I got a multiple, which is crazy. And I know y'all are probably going to comment and say, well, uh, you know, drink magnesium or eat bananas. I eat bananas every day. And I um, drink magnesium, what the doctor told me to do. So it just is what it is. Look at my spray tape right there. Um, so week 31, um, I had like a couple bumps on my stomach that like I popped. I know it sounds weird and gross, but it's just normal. Um, my feet literally were like on fire week 31. They were just so, so sore. And I've been kind of irritable this past month too on and off um and her kicks were kind of crazy i would feel her kick but i would feel like her like kick like on my side so she's head down right now and you guys are gonna be looking at this opposite but she's head down her spine and her back's right here and then her little butt's right here and then her feet's right over here so if you're looking at that it's kind of the opposite so um but yeah i thought a lot of different movements um I also like started realizing like on week 31 I had pressure when bending over I guess because my stomach was getting heavier um, and week 31 is when I did start to feel bigger because if you kept up with me and you watch my videos and you've seen bump pictures I really like didn't pop 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 until like I mean seriously though like almost like week 30 31 now granted my stomach was protruding but I'm talking like pop pop um, like when we went to Florida like barely even looked pregnant and I still was having people telling me that but here recently oh yeah I feel bigger but I knew this would happen I've said it in my other videos literally um my nipples actually leaked a little bit and for the first time ever in week 31 <clears throat> for one night my um feet got swollen like they actually swelled up like had a problem up not cankles praise god I do not have cankles y'all like I'm thankful as of right now Watch when I like do another video. It's gonna be way different. Um, so yeah, Charlie horses every day during week 31, uh, and my eye twitches nonstop, and it's really annoying because my eye has twitched my whole pregnancy, and I have no idea what the heck that means. It's um, August 3rd right now on a Friday evening, and I'm drinking red raspberry leaf tea because you're supposed to do that too. Or not supposed to, but. It helps like your uterus become stronger and uterine contractions and it can give you Braxton Hicks. I'll get into all that in a second. <coughs> oh, and also I'm a little bit like scatterbrained right now. I might start doing weekly videos after this just because like I can't wait and do week 36 to week 40 and then what if I have her then? You know what I mean? So I thought about doing weekly videos so you might see this video and then see another one quickly after. Or I thought about doing like another video in two weeks. So after like 37. <coughs> So, um, yeah, I got a trolley horse week 32. My feet were hurting, and um, I uh, just had a lot of feet aching and back aching. That's all that's really bothered me. I mean, just feet and back, feet and back. That's it. But what's crazy is my feet will ache, but they don't swell up all the time. Like, they'll just ache. Um, but even when, like, before I was, like, ever pregnant, my feet just ached a lot. I think I have, like, just poor, not circulation, but I don't really know. Um... But I started going to the chiropractor during week 32, so go to, I've been going to him every two weeks. I went to him 32, and then I went 34. And then um, next Thursday, August 9th, I go to him once a week until I have her. Same with my doctor. So um, that's pretty exciting. Um, 
Also, I was craving Snickers during week 32. Snickers and milk, don't know why, but I was. Uh, week 33, same thing, just my lower back. She was very, very active. My stomach was sore to touch, um, especially when I coughed too, which that's just like, I had a lot around ligament pain is the best way to <clears throat> describe that. I also was a little bit constipated and I had really bad gas during week 33. Um, so that wasn't any fun either. And during week 33, my dog passed, which was really sad, July 16th. And then Jamal and I got married July 18th. So we've had like a lot going on. Let me tell y'all, the night of our wedding, I was miserable. Not like because <laughs> of the wedding, but like at the night, at the end of the night, like at midnight. I mean, I was like limping. My stomach was so sore, my back. It's just because I was up all day. It was a long day. So like, it was intense. It was, it was bad. <laughs> just like when I laid down to go to bed. But thank God Jamal was there. He like massages my feet a lot only because I ask him to because they ache all the time. Um, and week 34, my lower back was hurting. I felt really big last week. I craved Subway multiple times last week. Um, and sometimes I feel dizzy a little bit and no, it's not my blood pressure. No, it's not none of that. Like they just say it's normal. So here I am. Um, but I craved something multiple times actually and I was craving a Snickers again. Um, and my ribs were a little bit sore, but that's because she was like in my ribs. Like I could literally feel her in my ribs. And also I feel like my areola, have, my nipples, areolas, whatever, have gotten super, super dark too in the past like week or two and I leaked a little bit more. Um, and I had really bad heartburn as well last night. I feel like I'm talking really fast. Um, I also had my baby shower last week, July 26th and my boobs were kind of leaking and I was exhausted too. I was miserable at the end of my baby shower night because it was non-stop too, going and bending over and getting gifts and oh my gosh, it was crazy. July 27th, I had Braxton Hicks. Okay, so <clears throat> I had Braxton Hicks July 27th. July 28th, I had Braxton Hicks and I had a really bad headache, felt nauseous, my lower back was hurting. July 29th, I drank red raspberry leaf tea for the first time July 28th. Woke up in the middle of the night I mean, literally, I thought I peed the bed because I was, like, sweating. Like, legit broke out into a sweat. And I had a sharp pain right here. And I had Braxton Hicks all day. I thought about calling out of work. Doctor said it was normal that your discharges increase when you drink Braxton. I mean, when you drink red rice, red leaf tea because you're facing, like, you're thinning. Um, and then Braxton Hicks increase. So, she said it was all good things. So, keep doing it. Keep doing it. So, uh, here I am. This is my fourth cup in the past, like, week give or take, I think, yeah, so, but you're supposed to drink it every day, so I need to just, it's a hassle really to remember to, like, drink it every single day, um, and then, um, I've had trolley horses, every time my feet are like this, I have a trolley horse, I have to, like, actually, like, flex them out, um, I had really, really bad gas this week, too, but I don't go to the bathroom as much as I did, if y'all know me, I go to the bathroom, like, a lot, lot, and when I say a lot, I mean, like, a lot, lot. So, it's a big deal for me if I don't go to the bathroom a lot. So, um, but some days are good, some days are bad. So, I just pray that that just stays semi-normal. So, yeah, tomorrow will be 36 weeks. I'll be due four weeks from tomorrow. I got 29 days left. Due September 1st. And I'm excited. Pregnancy's been easy so far. It's obviously, like, your body changes, so you have things going. But it's nothing that you can't deal with. You know, I'm fortunate enough. I feel like sometimes people act like they're dying when they're pregnant. But I get it. It's harder on other people. Um, but I've just been blessed so far. <clears throat> and I pray that my delivery is as smooth. And, like, it's a good transition. Transition, Just like pregnancy has been. Um, I haven't really dealt with any swelling in my face. I get told that a lot. Yeah, my feet have gotten swollen a couple times. But my face really you know i don't have like that puffiness but i think that's because i drink so much water too i mean i think i've told you this i know i drink at least a gallon a day so um but yeah so if you like this video give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and like i said i will probably um do like unless like week 36 a lot changes i'll do another video oh and today i had some thumping which is normal too down there but um if a lot changes in the next week, I'll do a video, but if it's only like a five minute video, I'll probably just wait and I'll do a week 36 and week 37. So anyways, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.